So that robot is the robot we built this year with our team uh, for the first robotics competition uh, that went on in Victoria at the end of February. This is our robot. Its name is Cobra Chicken. That's a slang term for Canadian geese. We named it that because if we made it to Worlds, we wanted to be able to represent Canada to its fullest. We also leaned into some of the other stereotypes, such as uh, plaid flannel jackets and embracing the flag's color scheme in our logo. This competition is the biggest robotics competition in the world, with over 9,000 teams participating from about 50 countries, 20 to 50 countries. Um, and there's just nothing like it. High schoolers from around the globe compete in a competition that you have a very short amount of time to prepare for, and it's a different game every year. Many people assume immediately it's kind of like battle bots, but it isn't. You are not allowed to intentionally damage other robots. More speed, more speed. There you go, good job. I think in total I've spent about more than 600 hours working on this robot personally. This robot can drive, this robot can shoot and pick up the rings, and I guess most impressive that is that this 60 kilogram robot can hand itself on the chain. So it's uh, about 60 kilograms. It's quite big and runs off basically a, a car battery. Everything here is made from aluminum and wood. The arm on the robot with both of the motors, the gearboxes, the ratios on the chain, comes out to two times more powerful than a Ford F-150, uh, about as powerful as the latest Tesla Model S. In total, we spent on this project about 10,000 Canadian dollars, which is 2,000 on the robot and 8,000 on registration fee. Our team is completely student-led. We built the robot on our own, we got all of the funding on our own, and there's almost no other teams that are able to do that without adult supervision and help. The very first thing we did was to talk to the pack at Thomas Haney, um, but then we started reaching out to private sponsors, and this is how a lot of teams make their money, is to be getting government grants or private sponsors to help prolong the team's life. Our robot was arguably the most impressive robot ever built by a rookie team in British Columbia, but that didn't give us a very good uh, ranking by the end of the competition. We got to the competition and we rebuilt every single part of this robot. The top of our robot fell apart. Um, we had to rebuild the base completely as well. Uh, we had a lot of software issues, hardware issues, electronics issues. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. And even with all that, we still had uh, a very impressive showing on the field. We did not end up winning the overall competition or going to Worlds, but we got a award for innovation in control systems. This is an extremely prestigious award that only ever goes out to the top teams. There are no rookie teams that we're aware of that have gotten the award in the past. So it's a huge deal for us. It'll hopefully allow us to get some more sponsors so that we can fund our robot for next year. And it's, it's a, kind of a crown jewel of our collection. 